Hey guys, we are currently on our way to Puerto Plata Seafood in Cypress Hills, which is supposedly the best seafood in Brooklyn. So we are gonna try it out. on Fulton Street. It's right there behind me. And the J train is up above. But this is $56. And we'll give you guys a look at it and actually show y'all more of how it's looking up close. Up close. And personal. When we get back home in like two hours. <laughs> Bruh. Hey guys, we are finally back home with our food. The sun has set. That's how long it took us to get home. But now we're going to do a formal introduction before we get... Before we dig in. And I'm ready to eat. <laughs> Anywho, I'm Shannon. I'm Sean. And this is Good, good Love, love good, good Eat. Yes, sir. So, we're going to eat we're gonna eat and we're gonna talk but we wanted to give our names this food is from puerto plata on 390 arlington avenue i believe if i got it wrong i'll put the information in the description below please 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 we are new here so you guys are new here like subscribe. like 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 subscribe we will be keeping the videos coming lots of great eats around brooklyn around new york and beyond when we travel so we're gonna get into it and while we do this we give a little something about ourselves at the same time oh also i attempted b love's sauce i don't know if you guys shout can out to b love and I think I did something wrong because it's greasy. But we're going to eat it anyway. And I added some things. This did not come with the platter. As you guys can see in the beginning, it was simply the crab legs, the corn. Not this corn. I had to add a corn because I love corn. He doesn't like corn. He's so weird. Terrible. These lobster tails and some colossal shrimp and some potatoes as well. So you'll see, of course, in the beginning and I'll put down the price and everything. But just by looking at it, it's definitely a good deal. This is a good deal, but we're going to get into it. Let's see. I'm going to start off with one of these. I think. Let's see how the sauce tastes. It's greasy. <laughs> it's greasy, y'all. I don't think I don't think I did it right. Oh, and what they do um, with the lobster tails, they cut two lobster tails in half, which I think is pretty good. I was kind of, um, I guess, not misled because they definitely described it and said that it would be two lobster tails, but I was seeing four in the picture. So I'm like, maybe it's actually four and they just meant to write four, but it is actually two cut in half to create a foursome. Before I dip it, I just want to taste because they have their own little butter and seasoning and stuff on it. So I just want to. It's pretty good. I'm tapping the shrimp. 
flavorful. Mm -hmm. A lot of seasoning. All about the flavor. So All this is. Flavor. I tried to do my little thing, thing, thing. Let me get up close. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I did it, child. That's good. She did a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fun fact about me. I do not like onions. Now, I'll cook with the onions. But I will not eat the onion. So, that's a, you know. Now, as y'all know from earlier, I don't eat corn. Since I was a kid, till now. Going on 30 years old, corn's still terrible. I told him, he's weird. But his corn is absolutely terrible. I mean, come on now. I'm like one in a million people in America who don't eat corn. Yeah, and it's so amazing. It's I'm just good. dipping it in it does this. That's nothing for you. Mm, you see that? Oh, 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 oh. Mm. I don't mm. Corn to cob, mm. cream corn. Mm. Terrible. Yeah. Corn is everything. So, while we eat, we could tell them a little about how we met. She was stalking me. Okay. No, this I'm is joking. when this is when the woman has to talk first because men be lying. <laughs> men be lying. Okay. <laughs> stalking. Okay. It was the Wait, are, you gonna, are you gonna tell the true story? Or are you gonna tell your version of it? I'm gonna tell your the version, truth gonna as it. I always do. Let's hit the exaggeration on this story. It's how she just looked at me, right? So. He stalked me. And that's why he said the stalking thing, because. Mm. The stunning. Mm -mm -mm, yeah. $5.49 for a nice box at BJ's. Absolutely amazing. But he stalked me at work. I didn't even know this man. I know. And he was supposed to be the homie. Mm, mm -mm. I did not stalk her. First of all, we worked at the same place. I was on security at the job she was working at. And one day, when she was leaving, I know the guy also doing security with me, who knew before me, so he started the conversation between me and her. After Babe, that, what's all of these pauses? I'm eating Why are you okay? Well, I have food in my mouth. Yeah. I have food in my mouth. And and he started a conversation. Well, come on, you gotta get this together. You want me to finish? You want me to finish the story? Do you want me to finish the story? Anyway. That's what started the conversation between us. So I was having a birthday party that year and I wanted her to come. So I went by her desk, instead of asking for her number, I gave her my Instagram so I could give her the details of the party. So instead of me. After mean mugging me, after mean mugging me, I was working I have in a the natural front. mean look. It's not a mean mugging you. I had a natural mean look. Well, as a Brooklyn girl, I was like, I ain't do nothing to this man. Like, what is he looking at? Like, I started looking all mean and my cousin, first of all, I don't want to be at work. And now I got this man, this bald head man, standing at, standing at me on the side. And I ain't never seen him. I'm like, then he's like, you want to go to my party? And I'm like, Send me the details. But I knew I wasn't going because it was December and it's mad cold. She definitely didn't show up. I was too drunk anyway. So. But fast forward, 
I didn't show up to the party. So that was dope. But um, we did start to converse because I had him on social media. I created a Snapchat in that year. This is 2014, by the way. I created a Snapchat. And so I seen that he had the Snapchat like in his bio or something, I think. And I said, like, let me just add him. I was just adding everybody and their mama because I needed somebody basically to, you know, have on my damn Snapchat. So I added him and it was Super Bowl Sunday. And I forgot what song it was. I swore it's a future song. He said it was a throwback it's song. A throwback Either song. way, it was a song that everyone knows. Like it did not make any sense that he did not know the words. Like he was lip syncing. I knew the and words. I was like he didn't know the words. So I was like, wow, you don't know the words. Like, everybody know this song. And that's how the conversation started. She slid and in my DMs. I did slide in his DMs. <laughs> she slid in my DMs. I did slide in his DMs with no intent. That was literally me. Like, I, if I'm bored and I watch everyone's story, I'll go ahead and shoot a comment or whatever. But I wasn't trying to get with him. Basically, From he put on. something in my food. He asked me if I wanted Popeyes, like on a random note, because he lived like right across the street, which was like, um, that was a downer for me. Like, I didn't let, not want any guy in close proximity, because that means you could just pop up or be sitting outside or whatever at any time. So that was like a dub. But no, he hit him. <laughs> he, I'm not that type of guy. Yeah, he, you know, he's super chill. But he asked me, he hit me up randomly. I'm in Popeyes, do you want some food? And I'm like, um, yeah, some popcorn shrimp. And when he came, he literally had my food only. Like he did not have his food. So he wasn't one of those guys who's like coming upstairs with the food, trying to chill and eat his food upstairs. So I was like, hmm go get your food and he went and got his food no he let's, didn't get his food let's, let's time out on that, <coughs> on that part right there what did you get your food so i come to the door right I how come... do people talk and eat <laughs> <coughs> so i come how upstairs to give her the food right she comes to the door with these short yeah. shorts on these high knee socks mm -mm. yeah oh yeah she did <laughs> I it was never, that day? It was that day. I would never forget that day. Oh. I can't. She opened the door. I was like, <laughs> keep it cool. Keep it cool. Just here for the food. I'm going dip. She said, oh no, go get your food. Come eat. I'm like, all right, cool. I was going to go home. But she invited me in. Conversation was talk. good. The vibe was good. No, at that time, we both wasn't looking for anything. I say so. It's just mutual friendship, and we just have fun together. I was single, right here. I'm single. I ain't want no. I ain't want none of that. I wanted to chill, and y'all could hear um, our little baby in the background. Her brother's playing with her, and yes, as I put in the description, we are a parents. Well, parents, a parent. <laughs> <laughs> we are parents of two. We have a nine-year-old boy and a soon-to-be ten-month girl. She'll be ten months old next Wednesday. So we'll let them get, do a little pop in at the end of this video. But yeah, long short story short, when he bought the Popeyes, obviously it was something in it. I didn't get that confession yet. But it, now, Popeyes. it was definitely something in my food. It was not. Because for me then <laughs> her laugh is so contagious. I just came with love and happiness. I saw it is. But we had a good time together. Um we basically noticed that we both love to have fun. We're into the same music. We have similar likings. He's more of a chill person. I'm more outgoing. But he's definitely outgoing too. He just chill. I sit back and watch. Right. That's how person I am. 
and I'm in the middle like <laughs> and we realized we both love to eat I mean we love to eat <laughs> okay from the beginning of our relationship till now I think we toned down to eating a lot because in the beginning we was two three o'clock in the morning eating going out <laughs> she was cooking every day so didn't I? You know. One time she did. I mean, she really said she got up at like two o'clock in the morning. I wasn't morning about to say that. And made me some chicken. I was gonna say all the parents around the world know our problems. Cause I just told this child to go ahead and get an icy. Cause I didn't want him asking me no questions while we recorded. His foot and hair banging on the deep freezer to ask me for the icing that I told him to get before we started. Mm -hmm. We'll edit it out. Mm -hmm. um, I had to take a little intermission to parent. So, as you can see, we got the little one back here. Say hi, Sky. Say hi. Say hi. You gonna wave or no? All right, you ain't gonna do it right now, that's fine. So we had to get her and we had to um, yell at the older one because he don't like to follow direction. So, I don't remember what we was talking about. I got corn on my teeth. I don't remember what we was talking about because of old age and parenting. I'm 30, I'll be 31. Uh, this recording thing and eating is hard. We'll get better. Okay. So excuse us Ooh. on this first video. So go back to what we're talking about our relationship. We've been together going on five years now. And we got engaged a month ago. In Mexico, she wasn't expecting it. She thinks she had an idea, but I had, I told, oh my gosh, y'all. Let me, let me share a bit of that with y'all. Okay, I loves me a surprise. Uh, I wish I got a bigger piece, but mm. I love me a surprise, and. I hate for a surprise to be ruined. And that's literally pretty much what happened. So prior to our Mexico trip, which has been planned for months, it was our um, friends, basically our sis and bro, um, their fourth wedding anniversary. So the husband wanted to surprise the wife with the trip to Mexico and asked if we would come along we need a vacation, just had a baby earlier this year, so it was totally perfect. And um, about a week before the trip, I wanna say my sister um, text, not texted me, wrote me on Instagram, inboxed me and was like, I hope that, no, she said, make sure you get your nails done um, for your trip because something, something is coming. Cause I, I normally don't have my nails done. I just have like plain polish because I don't got time. And she's like, I'm telling you, sis, something is coming. Like the way she said it, it wasn't on some like, oh, I feel it in my spirit. Oh, you know, maybe he might. It was on some, something is coming. Get your nails done. And I literally text her, if he proposes, you ruin the surprise. And I felt it. Like, his movements, it was being a little weird, but I didn't have my mind, like, wrapped around it happening because I didn't want to be like, ooh, it's coming, and then he don't propose, and then we on our way back to Brooklyn, and I'm like, with a whole attitude to him, and he's like, what you got an attitude for? And I'm like, I thought you was gonna propose. Like, that happens like when you kind of convince yourself but i'm like whatever like why would he tell my sister of all people I'm not saying he don't like her but 
why would he share that type of news with her? So nothing else. Know you know. That. But mind you, I had I had it planned out me proposing for months, months. And my uh, bro that we went to to Mexico with, he knew, so he helped me plan out the whole thing. Shout out to you, Ryan. But, Shout out to you, bro. So for her to, to put that out there, it's like, come on now. I put all this work in to surprise her. You gonna ruin it? These things, y'all, will keep a toddler, an infant, or whatever, quiet. And they good, too. But all in all, I think it went pretty well. The trip went well. The engagement went well. She still cried. I still cried. I mean, it's still... Like a big old baby. It's still an engagement. Like... We're going to have to insert a clip. Like, it's still an engagement. Literally, like, I mean, it's still a moment. Like, wow, you know, we've been together, you know, for so many years now. And it's not that it was like a rush for it or anything like that. But for someone to actually, especially him, because he's not like a person to do things just because everyone else is doing it or just because it's a time frame or he don't care about none of that. He only does things when he's actually ready for it so that's what really was like wow like he's like ready ready like ready and you know for all you guys who are not married or engaged when you actually get propose to your, your significant other it's like an outer body experience like i knew she i, I knew she was going to say yes but i was still nervous like getting on a knee and asking the question like that is it's it's different it's not like that's all you want to go on a date. No, it's not like that. It's ask the person, do you want them to be in your life, be with you for the rest of your life? Like you, you know the person gonna say yes, but then you're like, damn, what was she? You ain't know. She ain't going nowhere. What if I was like, yeah, okay. Hell no. <laughs> she got left right there in Mexico by herself. Mm mm. You already had my ticket. I wasn't. Would have been no ticket there. Would have been with me. You really, you really would have left me. Oh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> about to, yeah, I was about to have some more content about to have that whole what? <laughs> but mm -mm. babe, how many shrimp you ate? Not a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nah, you got that's the last one for you. Now nah, you've been Odin. Like isn't relationship sharing? He no. over here just eating all the shrimp. No. It's her food and then your food is her food. That's what it is. Hmm. That's what it is. And I share. I share. All the time. I think, I don't, I don't know if I did the sauce right. Trial and error. It's giving me greasy vibes. Trial and error. It's having you greasy. But as far as the seafood would go, it's definitely seafood. <laughs> but I think I would want to maybe try them again without their seasoning. Like, just give me butter. Just straight butter. Because there's something else on here. There's something else on here besides Obey. There's something else on it. So it has like a different type of taste. Don't you agree? No, I agree. Just, it has a different type of taste. So I would definitely get it again. Because this right here was only $56. For all this. Food. That's four clusters, three pieces of corn, who knows how many potatoes. Two lobster tails cut in half and potatoes. So it definitely was a good amount of food if we would have went to BJ's and bought everything individually. It definitely would have came out to more. So it's definitely a good deal. Um, check them out. Definitely recommend it. It's good. It's definitely good. This is not sponsored. This is our very first video. Um, 
as you guys know we are on instagram we are on facebook and we are on twitter we'll definitely put that in the description below we'll try to figure out how to put it on the screen so if you don't see it on the screen it's because we ain't figure it out so we'll definitely try to put that on the screen so you guys can follow us and we'll definitely do a lot more reviews um a lot more where we may just bring it home because we do have the kids and sometimes you know going out to eat just you know you know here it's you know some and more. some Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Am I talking too much? No. You know I'm the talker. You know you talk more than I do. No. So. Scott, I'm going to say something. Hey. <laughs> and sometimes we will be going to the restaurants, eating in the restaurants. We do want to do some challenges. So if you guys have any challenges that you may want to see us do specifically, definitely comment below and let us know um we're new so we learn it and we you know we just try to have fun with it and yeah not just only challenges if you got any topics you want to talk about mm. while we eat definitely post those as well we're talking about any and everything just post it we'll get to it um yeah <laughs> this is good <laughs> we're going to try to post videos every Wednesday to our YouTube channel so make sure you click the link subscribe please subscribe Thanks. and that little bell thingy notification bell. yeah notification bell I think oh AJ don't have a shirt on so if he puts the shirt on then we'll let him make an appearance on here Right now, he a little half neck. <laughs> um, I don't want YouTube yes, getting me. Here. I got we're here. We're here. kids on my theme. With no shirts on, so Put a shirt on. you know. But we made it through our first. Oh my gosh! Like, and y'all, I just learned how to eat crab legs. Like thirty years old, just learned how to eat crab legs. <laughs> no, it was before my thirtieth birthday. See. I think. And it's just not doing it with these crab legs. I don't know. It's not me. Cause this don't this not acceptable. This not me. Okay, here's AJ so everyone can see. Why you got a coat? Come forward so we can see you with that damn coat on. Gotta gotta bend down a little bit so I can see this. <laughs> and this is AJ guys. But he'll definitely be making some appearances too. We have to do some eating and chatting and all that with him. Some of his favorite restaurants and favorite places. So he'll make an appearance as well. We're going to go ahead and finish the rest of this food off camera. We still got a good. Thank bit. you for tuning in. Thank good you. love, good eats. Good love, good eats. Because eat. we love each other and we like to eat, you know? So until all you, all you good lovers and good eaters, until next time. Love, peace, and chicken grease. <laughs>